Hello, in this session, we will create particles that stick to a mesh using the Niagara system. First, we create a Niagara system by adding a fountain emitter. To control the movement of the particles, we remove add velocity and gravity force that affect movement. Then, as the particles need to stick to the mesh from all sides, we set the location as a very large cylinder in shape location. Next, we set the particle's lifetime and sprite size in initialize particle. We then set the particle's color by configuring scale RGB to linear color in scale color and set the scale alpha's curve as shown in the video so the particles naturally appear and disappear. Following this, we add scale sprite size to allow the particles to change size over time and set the existing curve as shown in the video. Then, we increase the number of particles generated in spawn rate. We also set the emitter state to system so that the particles are created and disappear according to their individual lifetime. Next, we create sample static mesh to set the mesh the particles will stick to. We set the source mode to attach parent so that when the Niagara system becomes a child of the static mesh, it can receive the position values of the parent mesh. After that, we create a point attraction force to pull the particles to a specified location. To set the pulling location to the position of the mesh, we set the mesh position that appears when creating the sample static mesh in parameter to the attractor position. We then set the parameters of the point attraction force. To accommodate the large number of generated particles, we set the sim target to GPU in properties and configure the bound box. Finally, to make the particles experience resistance over time, we set the curve in drag. Next, we create a blueprint. In Components, we click the Add button to create Static Mesh and Niagara System. We then set the Niagara System as a child of the Static Mesh. We set the Static Mesh with the Mesh we want the particles to stick to. Next, we set the Niagara System we made so far in Niagara. If particles do not stick to the Mesh, Click the mesh you want to attach, open the window, and check Allow CPU Access in detail. Finally, we place the created blueprint in the level. 